Cliff and Zena. This afternoon begins one of the first events at Sacred Heart Cultural Center for 2023. It's the iconic Augusta artist's reception in the Great Hall. We have our Anthony Carpino. He is live at Sacred Heart with more info there. Hey, Anthony. Well, hey there, Cliff. Hey there, Zena. Yeah, we're out here downtown Augusta, Sacred Heart Cultural Center. Always love coming to this amazing space. And I have Miss Millie here this morning. Thanks so much for joining us yet again. Millie, really appreciate you having, uh, having you on the show with us this morning. We have a pretty cool event coming up over the yes. next uh, couple of weeks, about two weeks or so. Yes. And there's a lot of artists here. We're going to yes. show you guys some of them. But talk to us about the event for a little bit for us, too. Well, we're so excited to be hosting this um, little short show. This is just mm. some time we carved out between our longer-term exhibits downstairs. And this is called Iconic Augusta. So all of this art in this space represent, uh, represents Augusta-themed art, and there are actually 29 artists represented in this space. And how many pieces total? 49. So that's all, a lot of that's a lot of artwork for you is. guys too. But you'll see that it's so diverse. It's everything from oils and, art, and acrylic and traditional uh, views of Augusta, but there are also some beautiful photography, lots of iconic. Um, uh, images that people will rep will recognize as yeah. space in Augusta. And with this issue, we said, with this art, when we did the call for artists, it was a wonderful response. We just really didn't know how many to right. expect. <laughs> and really the only parameters that we put, it could be somebody, something, somewhere, anywhere in the Augusta area. So yeah. you'll see a great representation of that. So you don't have to be, you know, an experienced artist that's been painting for 25 plus years or anything like that. If you just have a passion for artwork and you love the Augusta area and you want to feature some kind of Augusta landmark or, or such in your artwork, that's qualification enough. It was. That was what was perfect about this. We put out the call to artists back uh, in the fall mm. and really didn't know what to expect. But this is a wonderful way to introduce less established artists, you know, those young artists that are just getting yeah. getting started in their <laughs> art. And some of these have will have long-term uh, future as as great professional artists. But Absolutely. some of these are, are folks who do it as a hobby and are just excited to be shown in this beautiful space. For sure. And, and what you say before, uh, two weeks is a shorter period for yes. you. How long are your events? How long do they usually last right. for? Right, our art exhibits typically last about seven weeks. And oh, okay. the art that we show in those longer shows are typically more established artists that can mm -hmm. can support um, and have the art inventory to have a show that might they might bring 20 to 25 pieces to the show. And it is one of the ways Sacred Heart supports ourselves as a nonprofit. And so we select those artists about a year and a half in advance. Yeah. We have an art selection committee. We, we take submissions throughout the year and so those artists are, are always at a, a more professional level yeah so these sure. folks in this show are all just all across the board it's really a wonderful representation of how many talented artists and photographers we have in Augusta absolutely and, and walk us through the process of how this kind of works for folks that might want to come see the artwork when sure. should they come in to view the pieces uh, in, in the more public setting and then yes. you guys have your uh, more gallery setting a little yes. bit later on. Can Absolutely. So that too? tonight is our opening reception. All of the artists will be here with their family and friends, and the public is open to come and view this art in this beautiful space. So that is a free and open to the public event today from four until six o'clock. Um, and then it will be hung downstairs in our gallery space. We have a beautiful hallway that has the exposed bricks and the original granite, awesome. and it's a lovely place for the art to hang. And so it will be the show will be up. Uh, through January 20th, and it, we are free and open to the public Monday through Friday from 9 until 5, and so anybody can come and view it and enjoy it. And then we have another show coming up uh, just the following week after that, so on Tuesday, January 24th, we'll open up a longer show, and awesome. again, do the reception in here, yeah. and it will hang downstairs uh, through uh, February 28th. Awesome. So folks have kind of multiple opportunities. If they want to come and uh, be in, in the Great Hall itself yes. and just, I mean, the, the space alone is artwork, guys. I mean, and of course, get in on the uh, other artwork that's here, but lots of opportunities to come see the space and then go see the more traditional setup for an art gallery. Yes. So lots of options for sure. Real quick, uh, can you give the website for everyone to get some sure. more information if we they want to come look it up? We are at www.sacredheartaugusta.org. 
always great things going on here and where we love to invite the public and we have tourists from all over the world that come to enjoy this space. Awesome. Really great stuff here. Millie, thanks so much for joining us again this morning. Thank you. Can't Anthony. wait to see what you guys are doing up next because you guys Absolutely. always have a lot of awesome events going on and get to feature a lot of local folks that are just loving the Augusta area. So yeah, make sure you come out here uh, starting up tonight and then yes. you got two weeks to come out as well. But if you want to see it in the Great Hall, make sure you come out a little bit later on this evening. But for now, guys, we're going to set things back in review guys in the studio. All right, Anthony, appreciate it much. We had a lot of talent in this town.